And now for the Rude Boys rant. Ting and ting, this is a dirty immigrant. This Scotland. Yes, sir, man. And this is it's been a while since we recorded a show. It you has been. I mean? Well, I've been it feels like everywhere. Yeah. Every, everywhere but here. I don't know. <laughs> I you know, so much travel towards the end of the year and conference tournament and now another tournament and so I just whoa. Man. So so if you guys when do you guys play? Not tomorrow but the next day. Thursday. Thursday at one o'clock against George Washington. Yeah. So. so if you win, you move on. And we win, win, well, it's on. double elimination. So even if we lose to GW, we'll still play again. Oh, okay. So the whole thing is double elimination, even into the championship game of, of the round. It's if you come up from the bottom bracket and you beat the team that hasn't lost yet, you have to beat them again. So how long is this, this tournament for? Just well, weekend? this well this we this first round goes through this weekend. So it goes into Saturday, and then the next week will be the championship round, if you want to call it that. So the winners from oh. each of the four brackets then will oh, so, meet so next week. So if you guys win out, then you'll be staying there? For no, no, Well, because it's in Lynchburg. So we'll come back here first for a couple of days, and then we'll head to Fort Collins, Colorado. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, yeah, that's that's where that's where we'll be headed next if we can obviously win. Yeah, this. So how long since you've been to Colorado? I, hadn't, I don't think it's been that long. Well, I when I drove Bobby out there when he moved. That was what three or four years. Uh, ago, that was about yeah. 2013, 2012, something like that. Wow, yeah. that's been a little while. Right. I'll I'll put it this way: Tim Tebow was in Denver at the time, so that puts that around I think like 2011, 2012, somewhere in there. Oh, okay. So. Right. So yeah, no, it, no, I mean it, it's it's been a little bit. We I've never been out there for games, but I mean I've been there. I haven't been to Fort Collins, but I don't know. So we'll 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 see. Obviously, hopefully, hopefully we'll get that far. But you know, another thing I also found out is I have been with this team for 892 games. <laughs> if we somehow play eight more, it'll be 900 for me. <sighs> Are you gonna work it out to get to the thousand? That means two more years, man. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know. That's uh, debatable. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, if if I could work with just that team, you know, be yeah, all right. But yeah. you know, yeah, I totally but, get uh, you there, brother, man. I get you, know, you there. Unfortunately. So many other things you got to get through first to get yeah. to that, and I feel you. It, it, it can be a lot. So uh, we live in an area where I, well, we'll be honest with you. We we're trying to get older here. Yeah, yeah. and I mean, it, it, well, it, and I'm it, I'm trying to. I mean, look, I love I love spending time with the softball team. I love getting to travel with them. I like the coaches. You know, the players are great and all that stuff. And I obviously love calling the games, but I don't like my job yeah, <laughs> as yeah. Sports Info. I don't like my job. So. You know, uh, that's that's where you're kind of stuck. It's like, well, I, 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 to be quite honest, if it weren't for the fact that I get to call the games on the road, I would I would have quit doing this after my first year. Yeah, I would have got through that one year because my sister even suggested it to me. She said, "Well, if you, she goes at least go. If you don't like it, she goes quit after the first year." So if I wasn't calling games, I would have quit after that yeah. first year. Yeah. <laughs> I would have gone to my boss and said, oh, I'm sorry, the, this sucks, I'm out. But anybody out there need voiceover work or <laughs> they need somebody to call your softball games or whatever, this man here is I'm a, I'm a I'm a pretty good script reader, I think I am. I'm yeah. a pretty good script reader. So, uh, yeah. I, you know, I, I would love to because w- when you watch things, you know, with people narrating and stuff like that, no matter what it is, especially with me watching NFL film stuff, but – Things on History Channel, you know, PBS, you know, whatever it is. Like, I would love to do that. Are yeah, you kidding me? And yeah. then, heck, you know, do some voices for a cartoon, too. Man, yeah. I would love to do that stuff. But in the meantime, not much going on with me. I mean, 
Except for those books you got now in yeah. paperback. Yep, I got uh, two of my, <laughs> well, all three of my books are in paperback. Plus, there's another one which is sort of like poetry, I'm going to call it. I'm not a poet. You see, it's just stuff that I wrote during the invasion back home. And I didn't change anything. I didn't go in there and, and build words here and there to make it hit you here. Mm -hmm. It's just what I was writing at the time, straight, off, straight from mm -hmm. head on to the people. I'm not changing anything to make a rhythm here and a rhythm there. Just read it for what it is. I Am call it thoughts. Amazon.com. Yeah. Right? Is yep. where you can find them. Uh, Anderson A. Charles. Yep. Anderson you know? A. Charles. And, you and also you can look up the four. you can look up the dirty immigrant too, because that's that's obviously his name on the show, and that's yeah. his book too. That's my book. That's one of my books yes, too. So yes. you know what I mean. Check it out and ting, and I'm uh, well, doing a reading here soon. No, you know what I mean, and ting and ting. So you know we vibing up. <laughs> you know what I mean. But as of this time on this podcast, what are we gonna discuss? Misogyny. Oh, the no. word. The the omen. The curse, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> the dirty word. Of, yeah, man. I'm not the one of those. Word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but you know, I, I think we all are guilty of it at some point well, in our life as yeah, males. Yeah, yeah. I mean, especially after reading through some of this stuff, you yeah. know. Yeah, there's a time I here and there where say I have never hooted and hollered at a woman. Yeah, I can honestly say I've never done that to a stranger. Mm. If it's a, 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 a young lady that I know or a woman that I know and we're friends and we do that, mm -hmm. we joke back and forth. Yeah, I go, woohoo, you yeah. mama, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> you know what I mean? I do that. Yeah. But if it, I don't do that to strangers. Mm. I have never catcalled a strange woman in my life. I worked with a guy who did quite often, <laughs> quite often. But you know what's funny, though, is th there were some times that he did it where you could, it's like, Okay, as we're driving around town, going to whatever job, or going back, going back to our, you know, our office. Then at the end of the day, there were times that you could see somebody walking that it just looks like they're having this god awful day. Yeah. And he would, and he would yell at them, and you'd see this big smile on their face. He goes, "Hi, I made her day." <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. like, okay, hang on, buddy, are you doing this to try to make them happy, or you know, what are you doing here? Yeah. But, but I, I will say, there honestly sometimes you'd see a big smile on their face from yeah. it, and it's like, well, well, I mean, you know, yeah, I, maybe I, at least at that moment it kind of brightened up their day a little bit. So I guess within reason, I mean, well, well, grabbing your well, well and no, he, on, no, he wouldn't know, do anything like, yeah. like that. For him, it would I just, know. yeah, for him, it would just be whoa. Yeah, you know, yeah, a, a lot yeah, louder. Yeah. I don't want to blow out anybody's speakers Ooh, here by really doing look it. Look at the booty out of it. <laughs> no, no. He he never said anything like that. It was just flat out, just whoo, you know, just a real loud yeah. yell, and that was it. Yeah. I mean, he never said anything else with it, at least not to them. Um, but uh, but like, like I said, you know, every once in a while, you know, I mean, I, people like to get compliments every now and then, yeah. you know? You know, but, so. Uh, but, 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 I, I I tend to find more often for me the compliments I get are, uh, oh wow that's such a pretty dog, you know like <laughs> like every time I take my dog for a walk the dog is always getting compliments I never get any compliments uh, dude I never get I never get compliments on unless it's like my goodness you're tall yeah that's well a, obviously I don't get that because I'm a foot shorter yeah. than you are but, but the, <laughs> let's look into the meaning of the word misogyny All okay right. hatred or Contempt of or for women mm. or girls, prejudice against girls. Now, uh, here's how this manifests in means. Okay, <laughs> in means. I like that. <laughs> Social exclusion. When you're excluded, mm -hmm. you know, they used to have yeah. all those clubs, you know, the, the raccoons and all them fellas and oh, stuff. Yeah. 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 Uh, sex discrimination. When they say no, that means. <laughs> What does that mean? I don't know, but I can see the wheels spinning in your head <laughs> on that one. I know sex discrimination. <laughs> well, honestly, we don't. Uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll get to some others in this. So I've I've found a couple articles, but yeah. one of the things in here, at least going with that, is where is where uh, the author says that they can either withhold or force it on somebody. So. So 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 so, so your, your boss could come and say you ain't getting none <laughs> if you don't if you if you, if you or, don't get that uh, go for that raise yeah, or or it's if you want the raise you'll come over here oh, you know okay. that type of thing so basically according to this it can kind of go either ways e either way it can be yeah. I will withhold it from you or I will or basically order you yeah. to 
The next one here is hostility. Mm -hmm. That could be anything, you know? You know? Girl, I'm married. Leave me alone. That's hostility. <laughs> If that girl, if that girl really wanted you, that could be, yeah. You know I mean, what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, 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 hostility towards who? I mean, you know, if they, you know, well, well, you leave me alone. Yeah, you go off on her yeah. thing, you know. Well, I, I think it's, and there's some more details in this yeah, article I, over I, here. I, so yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm being silly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, play, I'm, I'm playing uh, uh, God's advocate. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is called androcentrism. I have no clue what that means. You know what I mean? Hang Google on. it. <laughs> Hang on. I, I might have seen. How in the heck is that spelled? Let me see. A-N-D-R-O. A-N-D-R-O. C-E-N. C-E-N? Uh-huh. Androcentrism? Yeah, T-R-I-S-M. Okay. Hang on. Let's see, because I got a computer sitting right here. Is the practice, conscious or otherwise, of placing a masculine point of view at the center of one's world, at the center of one's worldview, culture, and history, thereby culturally marginalizing femininity? So basically, it's like saying you for misogynists yeah. who think everything revolves around but, guys. But, but, but then again, what is femininity? Is it is it to stay home and cook and clean? And well, to a misogynist, that? yes, that's that's feminine. That, yes. And what and that's and that's what you'll see in some of these other ones. To a misogynist, they think yes, that's femininity. Is you staying at home, you working, you you uh, you working around the house, not you know you cooking for me, you you basically doing everything for me. To a misogynist, that is femininity. So nothing, marriage, nothing else. Mar marriage is a misogynistic thing, right? <laughs> the old world view of it, yeah. <laughs> you know, the the don't you dare go but out dude, and work. Don't dude, you think for I yourself. I don't understand that because then you get married, right? Mm -hmm. And you, you marry these women, that, 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 oh, these strong women, rah, 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 and then you get married to them. And then they, they revert back into that whole, you know, well, I'm a woman and I'm supposed to do this and you're a man and you're supposed to do that. Oh, no, I... I, I think you might be confusing just whatever may, maybe regular roles are, but no, this 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 is referring to basically like the old 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 view. Yeah, regular of, roles no, no, for, no, for no, that I, for that time. You see what I mean? Man, and I'm but, talking about they want to go. Okay, like for instance, okay, I remember you know how I am with with marriage. You know, mm -hmm. it's a, everybody's everybody. You know yeah. what I mean? But then it, it took me off guard when. I went home one day during the Super Bowl, which I didn't really know what it was. Yeah. And there was chips and dip, you know, and be yeah. the man and what's some football. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Fetching me bear and stuff. And yeah. I was like, what is this? Yeah, okay. <laughs> that kind of threw me for a loop. I'm sure it you did. You know, because for a minute there, it's like, wait a minute, this is not me. You know, I could mm -hmm. get my own bear. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I could cook my own food. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not that. I didn't appreciate it, but you know. Well, that, well I mean, that well, okay. Kind of role. I mean, yeah, you see what no, I'm no, saying? no. You, you, you do, ha you do have obviously whatever gender roles, but it's more of the you are to wait on me hand and foot type of thing. That felt weird. Yeah, I did not like that. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no woman serving me on a platter and stuff. Like, no, I'm sorry. That's just weird to me. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I was raised by my mom. Yeah, when I was a kid, my mm -hmm. mom would bring her, you know, set the table and stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah. then we start doing it, you know what yeah. I mean? Because yeah. my mom's idea is that everybody's got to chip in to do mm -hmm. stuff in the house. Yeah. Made I mean, because, even, you know, I mean, when my even mom when taught uh, me how to sew curtains and stuff to put up in the house, yeah. everybody was like, that's woman's work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm sewing a curtain. What can you do? <laughs> <laughs> you just stomp your toe on the rock out there and go, Mommy! I don't even have to say, Mommy, can you sew this for me? I just go sew it myself. <laughs> I mean, even when I, even when my, uh, when my mom stayed with me after I had my surgery on my neck, you know, th I mean, there were times like, you want me to get that for you? And it's like, no, I can get it. And especially sometimes, like, I probably should get up and move a yeah. little bit, you yeah. know, because, I mean, I don't like sitting all day. And even though my neck was sore as can be, I still didn't like sitting all day. So I was like, no, 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 hang on. Let me let me go get this because yeah. <laughs> I need to get up and move. So so continuing on the list of in things. The definitions, detail, yes. Yeah. Patriarchy. Mm -hmm. Male privilege. Have you ever had male privilege? 
I'm sure we all have had at some point, but maybe something we didn't recognize. But man, we so prejudiced we can't even recognize. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I know her white privilege. <laughs> <laughs> I got male privilege. <laughs> there you go. So you got a privilege. Yeah, I, yeah, I know how. You know what I mean, my white brother. I know. I know how you mean. I know how that privilege works. <laughs> oh man. Male. I'm trying to think of. I don't ever remember having any kind of male privileges. Of course, well, I come from a different culture. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but. I never got a job because I'm a man. Mm. I don't think I've ever gotten a job because I'm, I don't. I, I don't get nothing. <laughs> I, mean, I don't get a job because I'm black. <laughs> yeah, you were told by that one old journalism professor yeah, you would. Yeah, I don't get. A, I don't get a date because I'm a man. <laughs> I mean. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's take that back for a second because you're the one who is turning away women left and right basically with a little Heisman pose over here trying to keep them at arm's length. So don't say that you're not getting dates because you're a man. You're not getting dates because you don't want them anywhere near you. That's the difference. So don't, 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 don't even, don't even go there. Because you're the one who's always telling me, so got maybe, another one flirting the, with me. Maybe that's the misogynistic part of me, you know, the, you know, show them the hand type thing. No, no, no. The misogynist of you would be bringing every single one of them home and saying, yes, you will do this for me and do this for me, and maybe you'll get this. That would Don't be the misogynist. Don't give me any ideas. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't help that one. I had to say that. <laughs> Uh, also, belittling of women. Yes. I've, I've belittled a woman or two. Well, everybody kind of rads rags on each other, but it's yeah. when it's centralized Malicious. to, yes. Yeah. Uh, disenfranchisement of women. You see, you, you know what I mean? I feel that one, too. You know what I mean? <laughs> I feel that one. Sisters, you know what I mean? Look, we all are loving <laughs> I feel it what you feel it, you know? Uh-huh. You almost kin poking thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh okay. Seriously, violence against women. Mm-hmm. That's a really bad one and that yeah. seems to be on the uptick for some reason. Yeah. I've noticed a lot of younger people are doing it more now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know what is going on with mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Sexual objectification. Well, that again goes with the hooting and hollering. Yeah, hooting and wow! Ho- yeah, well, and not just that, but also saying the things with it, because look, you and I have both heard what guys have said about girls when they've walked by. Yeah, you know, more than just "oh, she's pretty." You know, we've heard the. Uh, sorry, I don't feel like we can repeat. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I mean that's. And 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 not just obviously you know saying that to each other, but loud enough them for th- for them to be able to hear those See, the, nasty the, the, comments. The, thing, and the thing I have about the whole massage and anything is like people throw that around. If one guy you know that's not like that say something, oh you're massaging Mr. Pig. If he says mm-hmm. something, and I've seen it thrown around on Facebook, and that's one reason why I wanted to talk about it. Mm-hmm. And in in, in essence, mm-hmm. look in the mirror and see if I'm guilty of any of these things. You know what I yeah. mean? Because it's subconsciously, well, I guess, I've got one here that says 12 ways to spot a misogynist. Okay, well, let, 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 let's get into this, this okay. spotting of the misogynistic All dudes. All right, you know? um, let's see. This was well, this was actually posted four years ago, um, but it probably still, you know, obviously. Holds true. Uh, yeah, and it says, it says misogyny is typically an unconscious thing. So a guy's not really knowing that they're doing it, but they just do it. Um, so we we like animals. We just, yeah, ba- basically. We just, we just tip our noses to the air and we smell something and we just... <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. maybe. I don't know. All right. Following traits. Okay. He will zero in on a woman and choose her as his target. Her natural defenses may be down because he's flirtatious, flirtatious exciting, fun, and charismatic at first. So trying to put on that, you know, charm and everything. See, everything get... I have. So maybe I am a sensitive <laughs> kind of dude. <laughs> That's everything I have okay, right there. On, you know what I mean? there, there's on. a little difference, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, as time goes on, he begins to reveal a Jekyll and Hyde personality. He may change quickly from irresistible to rude and from rude back to irresistible. So that's where, like, okay, 
where we've talked about before, you get, um, you know, like somebody will get into a relationship or they get married and suddenly the other person, especially now in this case, the they guy turns to into. To come out to represent yeah, him. And exactly. Out <laughs> After the marriage is over, the representative said, well, I'll see you yeah, later, yeah, dude. You know, you're on your you're own. You're on your own, but It's yeah. like a, a bad Will Smith movie where he's the, the love coach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're on your own, buddy. Yeah, the, the representative retired. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, number three, he will make promises to women and often fail to keep them. With men, on the other hand, he will almost always keep his word. So basically, it's like you're going around telling everybody, yes, I'll do this for you, I'll do this for you, but you almost never do it for the women, but for the guys, you're you're going, I, I got to get this done, I've got to get this done, you know. That's, that's what, you know. The women do that too. I know. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? As nice guys, we know that. Yeah, one. They, they, there's actually a word for, for the women? way they treat us. Yeah, and and once we get through it, the word oh, is right here. Okay, you all right. This, this is gonna be fun. Thing. This is gonna be fun. All right. Number four, he will be late for appointments and dates with women, but be quite punctual with men. Uh, number five, his behavior toward women in general is grandiose, cocky, controlling, and self-centered. It seems like it, it seems like it's all the traits women like. From yeah, unfortunately, from some of the things that we've seen, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, where am I? Number six. He is extremely competitive, especially with women. If a woman does better than him socially or professionally, he feels terrible. If a man does better, he may have mixed feelings about it, but is able to look at the situation objectively. Number seven, he will unknowingly treat women differently from men in the workplace and social settings, allowing men various liberties for which he will criticize female colleagues or friends. See, not me, man. I criticize equally. <laughs> that you do. That you do. Equal opportunity criticizer. You know what here. I mean? You know, <laughs> girl, you better go put something else on. <laughs> Number eight, he will Dude, be prepared. hide them hairy legs, man. Nobody <laughs> wants to see that. Number eight, he will be prepared unconsciously to use anything within his power to make women feel miserable. He may demand sex or withhold sex in his relationships, make jokes about women or put them down in public, borrow their ideas in professional contexts without giving them credit, or borrow money from them without paying them back. Now, who holds out sex, you know? Try that with me and I go, okay, night, night. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. <laughs> well, hopefully a guy's not trying to withhold sex from me. No, me. I'm saying, <laughs> I, I mean, you know, women like to do that more than yeah. dudes like to. You know, yeah. dudes who say, you ain't getting nothing, you know, and then two minutes later, they, they, they're ready to rumble. Yeah. You know? <laughs> they, they, they're ready they to rumble. They got no, no self-power at all. Me, on the other hand, you pull that stunt on me, it's like, okay, I'll, I'll go for a walk. <laughs> you go for a walk. That would be exhilarating. <laughs> They're ready to rumble. Oh, man. I mean, Number nine, really? let's just keep going. <laughs> Number nine, on a date, he will treat a woman the opposite of how she prefers. If she is an old-style lady who prefers a gentleman who holds the door for her, orders for both, and pays for the meal, he will treat her like one of his male buddies, order for himself, and let her pay for the whole meal if she offers, and sometimes even if she doesn't. If she is a more independent type who prefers to order her own meal and pay for herself, he will rudely order for both and pay the check yeah. while she goes to the bathroom. Wow. Yeah, because he wanted that control. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Ten. I, 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 this kind of almost goes back to a little bit with eight, but sexually he tr he likes to control women and gives little or no attention to their sexual pleasure. Foreplay, if it occurs at all, is only a necessary means to an end. I don't know if I can read the rest of this. So, so, so this guy, this <laughs> this, this type this of personality, dirty. he cannot be in love. You're saying then? Pretty much, yeah. He he can only be in love if she is bowing down to his every, every needs, basically. Yeah, but, yes. But, but Hang on, we on. got two more. Okay. Number eleven. He will cheat on women he is dating or in a relationship with. Monogamy is the last thing he feels he owes a woman. So I guess kind of the same thing, going back yeah. to number 10 there. And number 12, he may suddenly disappear from a relationship without ending it, but may come back three months later with an explanation designed to lure the woman back in, which unfortunately we have seen that work for yeah, some dudes. That's vicious, man. It is, yeah. Wow. It says, only rarely will a misogynist possess every one of these traits, 
which makes it harder to identify them. Their ability to lure women in with their charm and charisma adds to the difficulty well, of know. spotting the early warning signs. I got that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this whole thing about withholding, maybe that is you. Cause like you, you got them wanting you, and you get and and you go. You're like, I'm going home by myself. <laughs> 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 so maybe that whole withholding thing is you. You know. I tell you what. A lot of the times when I do withhold, I believe it or not, I'm withholding for their benefit. Yeah. Because you you could just what tell. Do you mean a lot of times when you withhold, you. You you keep them all at arm's length away. What are you talking about? Some of the times. I, I, I like to analyze the situation, <laughs> and if I see a certain, not fault, mm-hmm. not 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 something that's wrong with them. But if I realize there's a, a basically something where the two of you aren't going to mesh well together. Yeah, I'm not yeah. going to go there just because I want to satisfy yeah. my own needs. Yeah, because you know that's going mean? to that's going to yeah. end up causing them an awful headache, basically. Yeah, no. You know? I, I I don't care what nobody say. Women who do one night stands, they do have a problem when they go home. They, mm-hmm. they do, yeah. not because it's wrong, but because society says it's wrong. So it eats at your mind. That's what we were talking about earlier. How people kind of revert back into that role mm-hmm. of I'm the woman and I'm supposed to do this and you're the yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, you know, and uh, of course that that's a minute compared to the situation of misogyny as a whole. Mm-hmm. But that's sort of like a. Oh man, how should I put it? Like a brainwashing for you to fall back into the thing that mm-hmm. you was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's a psychological thing, too, more than a lot of it psycho- psychological, more than or mental, more than it is physical, per se. Because you could shrug off, I assume. Mm. I've been catcalled by men. That's the most degraded thing. <laughs> I've walked by places. <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think, like, that's the most degraded thing <laughs> you know, on the planet. You know what I mean? I've been cat called by men and I've been cat called by women. I remember I, I, uh, this wasn't a guy, this was a woman. <clears throat> when I had the, uh, when I was still driving the galaxy at the time, I think I told you about this one. Um, you, you know, get stopped at a light. And some woman yells out at me, "Hey, why don't you pull that thing on over here or whatever, what is something yeah. like that?" And I was like, "God, this li- this like can't turn green fast enough. Yeah, Get me out of here." You know what I mean? I felt so cheap. <laughs> I totally. Und- I mean, you know, walk by this place uh, where, where there's a uh, there's a, where, where this gay hangout place. I mm-hmm. walk by there one night, just like, "Whoa, whoa, it's a big one." <laughs> ooh, ooh. I was like, man. This is really oh, horrible. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I not you, because it was men doing it. It's just that I understand how women yeah. felt. Well, I mean, you, you know even told I mean? me about that one time. Maybe when, feel uh, vulnerable. <laughs> got a got a tax there. I mean, you you. I mean, you told me about that one time too, where uh, I went over and talked to this to this one girl, and then when I walked away. This one dude looked at her and said, "Man, it's a good thing you snatched him up, or otherwise I would." I mean, yeah. I, that made me feel weird too. You, you know what I'm you saying? And, thing. and on the because I'm because I'm because th- okay, not to totally obviously put ourselves in women's shoes who get yelled at or whatever, but yeah. obviously you know, like if they're walking by and guys are yelling things at them and they don't want to hear it. That's that's pr- that's pretty awful, you know. Yeah. And then here I've got this one guy saying he would have snatched me up. I'm like, don't I have a choice in you this? Because no, I'm sorry, you dude, see, you wouldn't you have. See, and that's the thing. That 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 that's the thing about it. They're acting like men. Period. That's mm-hmm. what men do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And and that's why I don't understand the whole concept of when somebody's gay, then they have to be feminine or something yeah. like that. But they're doing what men do. Mm-hmm. They cat calling and carry oh, yeah. on. You understand what I mean? I, I, I saw I that. For, I saw that from working with another gay dude for yeah. a couple of years, man. I mean, he cat called all oh, the time. Oh yeah, you he, know what I mean. I, so, I yeah. heard. I heard. Yeah, some, y'all ain't exempt from the misogyny too, dude, dudes. You know? I heard <laughs> some nasty <laughs> things out of his mouth out about about some other Actually, guys. It was like, man, I need to start riding with headphones in or something. <laughs> but but I've had women mm-hmm. cat call me, and that mm-hmm. wasn't a very you know what I mean. You know, some people would boost their. The self-esteem, you know, mm-hmm. uh, but for somebody like me who know I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm the dealer who gets it every day anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, you know. Know, like me, who like you know, I'm thinking, you know, man, I might not be God gifts to them, but I'm God gift to me. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm good looking. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm debonair. You know, oh, all that good my. stuff. <laughs> 
those of you who don't know me, you know I'm full of crap. <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh it is it is kind of a uh unnerving to, to hear uh. women screaming and hollering at you when you walk mm. by. I never strutted on the wiggle and I'm thinking, my goodness, but <laughs> I mean and and but if a guy say that he's like, Oh my god, you want the women calling you, that means they want no, mm. that doesn't mean they want me. That means they can't call in me, period. You know what I mean? But uh and and there is a name. I gotta hear this. It's called uh Misandry. M I S A N D R Y. Misandry? Yep. And that's when you see they put a woman kind of a name, Andre yeah. in the back. Yeah. <laughs> So so that so that's when women are yeah, are, yeah uh, it's 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 a treating hatred a, treating of a, men or boys treating us nice guys like we're their their little servants yeah 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 that I mean that probably that probably that probably uh, qualifies only to nice guys but you, mm-hmm. well I mean okay you you and I obviously both remember this one girl that used to work here at this radio station and you and I were sitting outside one day on campus and she came over and started talking to us and then this other little dude who was following her around like yeah. like a sick little puppy dog yeah um you know basically asked hey when am i when am i supposed to be washing your car you know i think that was it right when am yeah. i supposed to be washing your car or whatever and then he walks away and she sits there with this big grin on her face and goes hmm I can get guys to do whatever I want. Misandry. Yeah, and you and I both looked at her and said, "Try it." You know what and I'm she just kind of went, "Ooh," you know, and like yeah, because she thought we were. It, mm-hmm. You know, and, also, and, and the thing is, you know, objectifying. I'm, yeah, and I'm sorry. I know this little dude is was never going to go on a date with her. No, but she was going to use him for everything he was worth. Oh yeah, you know. And then, and then suddenly one day, you know, when he might finally work up the guts to ask her out, oh, I'm sorry, I have a date with so and so from you this fraternity, I mean? you know, you know or the, this football player uh-huh. or this basketball player, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I used to play sports too, so I know how that vibe roll. Yeah, I used to play college sports too, mm. but but women that hate men, the misandry, misandry part of it. Mm-hmm. It's you know usually women that go off and is real have real fervor towards it are all liberal women. Maybe that's what I don't <laughs> Maybe that's what I don't mess with liberal women. You're you're two right down the middle, so obviously the far left and the far right do not attract you. <laughs> no, 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 some on the far right does because you know. Yeah, they, they, well, they, the the ones on the far right are going to be the ones who want to serve you hand and foot. Hey. You know? <laughs> Hey, you just said a few minutes ago you thought that was weird. You couldn't stand it. I'll take it from the right <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, you know what I'm saying, that thing? You know, it's just a juxtaposition. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> these days, and this, I'm not saying they are. I'm just saying these days they call them the party of the KKK. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm chilling. <laughs> that's what Lynn say. <laughs> They're the party of the KKK, you know. You know, I saw an argument like that. The, the conservative party, oh, the Republicans. Gosh. Oh, okay. yeah. They're the party of the KKK, you know. You know what I mean? And then the the the, the, the conservatives threw back at the liberals. Well, yeah. Well, you guys were the original KKK party, and they just argued about that. It always cracks me up when I see white people arguing racism. <laughs> there's no <laughs> black people on there talking at all, and they go in at each other's throat. But anyway, mm-hmm. the, 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 I, I guess we do live in a sort of misogynistic world, really. We do, yeah. But how come we ain't never done all that stuff that they talk about? Well. And there's, I, a, there's I, a lot of I, us well, like I, that. Well, I too. think honestly, it does depend on how you were raised. My dad's not like that, so obviously, I didn't grow up watching that. Yeah, you know. And my dad was <laughs> gone by the time I was uh, old enough to learn that kind of a nasty habit. Yeah. I mean, and 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 my mom was a teacher, so yeah. you know, I mean, I I obviously didn't learn that stuff. So I mean, it's yeah, you know, I, I I think it really depends on. I, I, it, it depends on who teaches you. And the thing about it too is like because I, I'm, I, not gonna, okay. I'm not going to call mm-hmm. out anybody, but I have a couple of siblings. Mm-hmm. One of the siblings is kind of like uh, my dad, you know, okay. bagging, bagging all over the place. Yeah, I'm yeah. a man, you know. Uh, 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 women are like children; they need yeah. to be told what to do. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, he said that to me a couple of times. Wow. Now, that one 
My dad was around when he was uh, growing okay. up. Okay, all right. Now, when my dad was not around in the pivotal years to learn stuff like that, mm-hmm. when I was in the teenage years and stuff yeah. to learn that, was my mom. So mm-hmm. I didn't get to learn none of that stuff. I get to yeah. see it for the destructive nature. Well, I mean, we, I mean, we've got a song that we've played on our on our radio show um, by Big Stan, a guy who was with DMX called Walk With Me. And one of the things that he's talking about is he said when he was a kid, you know, he, he, he watched his dad beat on his mom his whole life. Yeah. He said, so when I hit my baby mama, I thought it was all right. Yeah. And then in the song, you hear DMX yell out no. And he says, if I would have known that the hitting was wrong, you know, obviously I wouldn't have done it. And, and saying, you know, basically saying, he's like, you know, talk to me, teach me, you know, yeah. and unfortunately yeah. we have people who teach this yeah. garbage. Oh yeah. And, and that's what, and that's what they end but up learning. I can see it in musicals, especially mm-hmm. rap music. They're always talking about, you know, knocking out women and, mm-hmm. and where, 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 how did that happen? How did that become the prevalent? Because it seems like there for a period of time when I was growing up, it was there. But it was looked down on. Mm-hmm. Now it's there, and there's a, 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 a very loud vocal group of people who are for it, mm-hmm. including women. I really would love to have a chance to sit down with, you know, uh, as, as, especially younger girls. So, like, heck, maybe even the softball team, and ask why, you know, it's like, look, you all obviously, especially as athletes, you all don't want to be looked at. Oh, is your your girls playing? How cute is that? You know, it's yeah. like you want to be looked at as leaders, as yeah. women. You know, you're independent, you're strong, you can do your own thing. But yet, the songs that they listen to, that yeah. I hear on the bus, or that that I hear, you know, that you know, or, or that they want played on their playlists and things like that. And you and you look at the lyrics and go, Oh my God! It's like basically, this is just a guy saying. You are my toy, and yeah. you're gonna do whatever the hell I tell you, and you're gonna enjoy it. Yeah, you know, and they love it. They sing the lyrics, they rap the lyrics, you know, whatever it is, because obviously it's not all rap, but and they love it, you know. They they and I just I'm totally just flabbergasted by it all. And you know, and it's, it's, and people would say it's because we're probably older than them. But mm-hmm. I don't. I, when I was younger, I used to think that. Well, yeah, I, I didn't listen to mm-hmm. all that. You know, mm-hmm. no, I listened to Smutty Calypso. But that stuff you got to figure out. The, and and it's, yeah. and it's weird because it's like once you do figure it out, it's yeah. like wow, this is kind of funny yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, but this yeah, is yes, weird. You yes, know. later you go, oh my god, that's what he meant. <laughs> yeah, and I, I still do that. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you know, like even the song with uh, was it Maya? Not Maya. Uh, Ashanti. Mm-hmm. I, I listened to it once. You're talking I, about the one with Marshall Montana? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you say that one is dirty. Oh, they, it they, was, They sort of kind of sort of hide it a little bit, Ooh. and I didn't really listen to it strong enough to Oh, I caught it, it quickly, you know unfortunately. I mean? But, uh, <laughs> because, I mean, because it, it, obviously the song seemed like it had a good vibe to it, but then, I don't know, maybe it's because of the fact of all how much music I've had to try and edit yeah. that I've had to listen to very closely for, obviously, for us to play on our show or to make sure that I can play it out at the softball field or whatever. I've gotten so into I need to hear the lyrics that I started listening to that and just went, I I barely even made it into the first chorus and I was going, Wow, this is dirty. Yeah. Like this song is dirty. But you know, it's okay, it's one thing when you have a song like say Boys to Men, I'll make love to you and then you know, then some of the others Two were... Live crew. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that, you have people who? Two Live who? Oh, well, <laughs> the original Nasty Boys. Ba- basically. <laughs> um, so, or, or okay, the the um, uh, the one song, I Like Big Butts. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one who's not really a fan of that song. I uh, think the song's kind of stupid. Yeah. I really do. You remember, I, you remember you know, that one song uh, that girl had years ago? Uh, do my this, do my that. Was that was that my neck, my back? Yeah, my, oh, yeah. that song was disgusting. I know. I didn't know it was disgusting until I went oh. to a club one night with a couple of Christian friends of mine. And they were jamming. <laughs> 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 they were jamming to that song, and, I, and they were like, "That's my jam." And I was like, "What? Did she just say she won? What? Where? When? Why? How?" Uh-huh. I was shocked. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I guess I'm approved. Well, well, and then well, then a dude, heck, it might have been too short, came out with a song. 
of his own of yeah, that style. I was yeah. like, ooh, this one's gross too. Yeah, like, you yeah. know what I mean? But I, there, there, was, see, there was one day I remember, okay, just going back to, you know, with the music or whatever. I was, I was, uh, we were coming back from like dinner somewhere or something, and I was driving one of the vans, and I had one of the vans with players in it, and two of the ones, they're they're not on the team anymore, but two of the ones who, you know, keep talking about, oh, you know, faith this and faith that, and oh, we got to have all these Bible studies and do all of this stuff. They played some of the nastiest, filthiest, dirtiest music I have ever heard in my life. And they're sitting back there going, oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, you all yeah. better go have a Bible study after Jim into this. I was like, I feel like I need to go have a Bible study after just this just being played in here. Like, my it's just, it's like goodness. It's like misogyny is into the music. It's, like, it's well, just embedded okay. into the well, culture. And, and, well, in this, too, with them talking about how a lot of times guys don't really even know that, that, that yeah. they're doing this. You know, you'll have a guy who, who obviously says things like, oh, I don't hate women. You know, I love my mom. I love my sister, you know, or whatever, stuff like that. It's like, okay, that's fine. But if they're the type who obviously does everything for you, then yeah. yes. But at the same time, you'll have a guy, too, who will say, oh, I don't feel like that towards women. But then they love these type of songs yeah. that just make. Objectify. Yeah, exactly. Objectify and make women seem like they are your little plaything, and that that's all they're good for. Hostility, sex uh, discrimination, mm -hmm. patriarchy, mm -hmm. male privilege, belittling of women. Ooh, it covers every one of them. Yeah. Disenfranchise them. Yeah. I mean, and the violence you know, is there. Yeah. And that's and that's what I don't understand is when you have, like I said, women who don't want to be looked at as that. But then, like you said, they go to a club and they'll play something by a male artist that's basically talking. That's and they basically pers talking, personify that yeah. by what they're wearing and everything. And they're jamming in the club to it. They're loving yeah. it. They know the lyrics. They're dancing to it and all that. Look, I'm not, I'm not saying don't go dance and don't go have fun. Yeah. But, go drop it like it's hot. But if you're doing it to these type of songs, then I'm sorry, most of the guys who are going to be in those clubs aren't going to be thinking with the correct part of their brain. Yeah. And they're going to think they can treat you like that. Yeah, some of them think they, they, they're sitting on it, too. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's so. why they act like that. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. You so, know, I mean, and, 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 and a lot of those guys in there are the perfect definition of a misogynist. So, you know, I, I don't know. I, I'm... I I am I am completely confused. Like I said, I would love to have a chance to sit down with some of them and just just ask, you know, and be like, I am curious, journalistic curiosity here. Well, Please maybe tell me. A, For I, you, it'd be a, socio a sociology yeah, experiment. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. I don't know. Maybe we can bring them in for a show one day. After season's over, we can set them up on some microphones in there, and yeah. we can ask. I don't know. That's maybe an idea. maybe I can make that happen. Oh my but, God! Let's make it happen. <laughs> you know, we put it out there. Let's let's get it from the uh, from the the, the, the mouths of babes. See uh, what they like, don't see. Um, because like I said, I I am That's a good idea. I am completely confused by it. You know, I mean, yeah, we, we get 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 some of them young girl in here and and them that do that. But you know, it's not the young girl and them that do that neither. And more women do the same thing. Too. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. They, 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 they hang around these uh, philandering fools. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and then, I love him, I love him. You know what I mean? I, I ain't going to try to blame women now. Mm. Nobody's talking about feminism anymore. Everything is misogyny now. Mm -hmm. I remember the feminist movement. I am woman, hear me wrong. In numbers too low to explore, or whatever yeah. the woman was saying. Yeah. Songs like that were mm -hmm. playing, you know. It, 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 sort of the empower. No, the empowerment is, I'm a hit em up style. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to burn all these clothes out there. You, 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 somewhere along the line, you all lost the, the essence of feminism. You know, which is Sta a, a standing standing up thing. for yourself is not destroying property. Yeah, and not only that too. What is it doing? It's not changing anything. And you know, and and I've actually talked about this even with some of the players before. I said, you know, the, one of the things that I don't understand is when, okay, like say, okay, say you're dating a guy, and you find out multiple girls are dating the same guy. Instead of you just going to the guy and saying, you know what, you are a piece of trash, I'm out. No, you want to go fight the other girls. 
I don't understand that. I'm well, sorry, you know, okay, if 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 I'm dating a girl and I find out she's dating other guys, I'm like, well, I'll see you later. Yeah. Go. You want to go with them? Go ahead. You're not coming over to me. That's for damn sure. You know, and I don't know. Somebody might look at that as weak or whatever. You know, but you know, hey, she's she's not worth my time and effort. I mean, and you know, I, I'm not going to go fight with some other dude over some woman. Please. Well, well, especially when you could walk. Well, well, especially too when it's okay. Especially in this type of situation where I'm talking about, whether it's either the guy dating multiple girls or the girl dating multiple guys, it's that one individual's fault. Yeah. So. Why? So, okay. Well, think about this too. Okay, let's say I'm dating a girl who's dating other guys. Maybe those other guys don't even know about the rest of us. So, why am I going to go fight him when he has no clue who I am? But you know, but, but it's an alpha male thing to do. You know what I mean? You know, alpha well, you male. Know what? She can go find another alpha male because you know I'm out the mean? door. <laughs> I'm not dealing with your garbage. No, I you know? Know, no drama. Sayonara. Dude. No drama. You know what I mean? Two revolutions and an invasion was enough drama for this man. I ain't, <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I ain't trying to have that. You know yeah. what I mean? And that's, that's, and why, that's I, why I really yeah. don't understand why. And I have, and I will say I have seen this unfortunately happen more times with girls because obviously working with a softball team all the, all this time, but they're you know they'll date guys who are dating multiple other girls and it's they just get mad at the girls. They don't get mad at the guy. And of course, I'm sitting there thinking, man, the guy is the one who's the piece of trash. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe again, uh, that that uh, subconscious misogyny is what's because you know men maybe. keep telling people a lot of that stuff mm -hmm. is animalistic, and we are animals at best. You know what I mean, mm -hmm. or or something like that. So maybe because you always hear them saying, you know, oh yeah, that's the, that's a man thing to do. You know what I mean? The, like uh, like I don't date around. What the man thing to what conquer multiple women? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I get that all the time. You live alone. You you, you know you're single. Mm -hmm. You're a good looking dude. You should be you know bad bad. It's like yeah, that's, I've that's I've not I've, my I've style. had I've had people tell me that I'm wasting my time as a as a bachelor as well. I was like yeah, I mean that's not my style either. Yeah, you know what you I mean. Know? I'm not gonna go waste a bunch of other people's time because I don't want to waste my time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty much, karma, yeah. karma gonna come and back you, at you. And you know what? For me too. Okay, I'm not a drinker, so why am I gonna go out to places where people are getting blasted and find a drunk girl? No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know. And and okay. And obviously, what are the odds that I'm gonna go to a bar or a club and I'm gonna find the one girl in there who's not drinking? And not because she drew the short straw and she's got to be yeah. the DD that night, but because she doesn't. Yeah. You've got to be kidding me. I'm yeah. going to be wasting my time and money. Because you know I'm not getting into these places for free. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, man. I don't know how we could... At some point, educating the younger people to not be like that is the mm -hmm. best way to go. Because I think as, as once you hit nineteen, if you're thinking like that, that's good. that's kind of a, like a, it pr a pretty massive, much. Yeah, it's yeah. it's gonna take a huge yeah. thing to change you. Yeah, exactly. Really. See, like me <sighs> and you, we were taught that growing up. Yeah. In, in, within our family unit, so yeah, that, you know, we weren't as bad. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's what we need to start with. Like we said mm -hmm. on the root boys, we like to have somewhat of a. Well, and also, and also, too, I guess Start because of your younger uh, guys, your, 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 your young male children, mm -hmm. to not be like that. Yeah. Well, and also, too, I guess in a sense, you know, you 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 hang out people who are like you. I mean, my my friends aren't like that. Yeah. You know, uh, the only one, and I wouldn't really call him a friend. It was my roommate my freshman year. He's like he's like or was like that. I don't know if he still is, but you know, I. I mean, I you know, I hung out with people who were who were like me. We we aren't like that we're not looking to go out somewhere and be like oh man i'll take that one home oh well, maybe i'll take yeah. that one oh maybe i'll take that one home oh i'll have to come back tomorrow to get her no 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 yeah mm -hmm. we're gonna wind this down here mm -hmm. but there's something i have to talk about a little bit it's, a, it's away from the subject of misogyny and uh it's probably something we're going to talk about in the future but uh the other day at my job i got a complaint okay yeah yeah, yeah. a woman <laughs> called in and said that i was a racist <laughs> and uh, she's been watching me for the longest while, and I do that to every black person that comes in there. Apparently, I'm racist against black people. <laughs> you did say you lost your tan since uh, you left. You Grenada. know what I mean? I, 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 listen, man. Ooh. You know, it's just so so. She called uh. in and complained 
You know, and the thing about it is they ask you to go do stuff in the middle of uh, of taking care of a customer. You got to mm-hmm. stop, go do it because that's what the customer already paid for what I'm going to go get. Yeah. No. He walks away from us. He doesn't talk to us. I've seen him do it with several black people that come in here. And was like, everybody's like, what is she talking about? <laughs> so I decided to do my own experiments, soci- uh-huh. sociological experiments. <clears throat> and I decided to tell several African Americans what happened to me. Mm-hmm. And at first I didn't tell them the ethnicity of the woman that did it. So mm-hmm. every time I tell them, they say, oh yeah, was it a white woman? <laughs> 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 and then I say, no, it was a sister. And the funny part about it is, their faces changed, but it didn't change to the oh man that you know they, they didn't show the same anger that she's mm-hmm. saying that I'm racist and here you are talking to me knowing that I'm not and saying oh, you know no they were they, they started to justify and defender and defender yeah and you know what that sounded like to me R Kelly what <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that sounded like white folks justifying racism. Mm-hmm. It sounded exactly like it. Well, you and know I'm what? Honestly, there going, wow, they're doing the same thing, the, the exact same well, way, the exact same expression that I hear whenever I see something racist happen to me to a white person. That's the way they hear it. Well, you they know what? And that was one me. of the things that obviously they talked about in one of these articles. You know, if you were to confront a guy and say, you're a misogynist, I'm not a misogynist. I love my mom. I love my sister. Yeah. You know, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's. Yeah. They will try to justify why they're not as something like that. Just like every time, you know, it, it you know, white person you know call them a racist i'm not a racist i i i have black friends i'm talking to one of the brothers older older guy i guess he's in his 50s talking to him this falls right back into the misogynistic thing Mm -hmm. he said yeah she's probably some woman that just like you man you know what i mean you know oh yeah yeah, go get it man go go, go tear it up you know and i was like i don't even know what she looks like he said who cares Well, that's him trying to say, just put her in her place, basically. Exactly, you mm-hmm. know, use that as a weapon. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, no, that I'm was a, I'm one gonna, of the I'm definitions. A, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, yep, I'm gonna whip you around into shape. <laughs> Literally speaking, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, so the, uh, even in that situation, uh, with the racism stuff, misogyny keep come out to the top, mm-hmm. and in a kind of a way, it kind of proves to me that they don't look at me like one of them. Yeah. Well, you've even said yourself that they, uh, that people don't think of you That's as black sad. because you're a foreigner. That's kind of sad. Yeah. I, wonder, I, li- I, I like wonder, how you, I like how you say whenever somebody does that, you look at your hands like, oh, you uh, know, looks I like mean, I am. <laughs> I uh, and I, I, I'll be honest too. I get that in this region. I don't get mm-hmm. that in New York mm-hmm. or DC. I get it yeah. here. Here is where I get that. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're not as used to foreigners here, so you know. Yeah. So, you know, I'll give you all a pass on that one. But yeah, that, that was kind of crazy. And that woman called in and said that I'm a racist mm-hmm. against black people. I mean, I did get kind of yellow, and I'm trying to get my, 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 my tone back. But, you know. Not wearing sweatshirts <laughs> and jeans you're not going to. <laughs> well, if I'm chilly, I'm going to wear stuff to warm up. You know what I mean? Hey, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys for tuning mm-hmm. in again. You know, this is we're gonna keep them shows coming to you. And thing, remember to rate us, rank us, subscribe to us. It's the Rude Boys rant. It's on everything. It's on mm-hmm. everything, man. You know what I mean. So check us out. You know. That's right. You got anything? Nah, I'm. Back on the air calling more softball games. That's all I can say. He's going to be doing the thing. Tune in. Tune into it. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? Uh, And listen to him. And uh, thank you all for tuning in today. And remember, don't let that system get you down. It's the Rude Boys. We're out.